Good morning, my name is Greg Davis and I would like to welcome you to the CBS ArcSafe presentation on remote switching dealing with breaker control switches and push button applications today. The first thing we're going to show you is our PB16 and this is made for single small push button type applications. The PB16 has a high strength magnet which is going to hold it in place. It has an adjustable side rail so you can adjust the depth based upon the application and it uses the small um, control section like this. And one of the things to note is each one of these control boxes is different. So if you say, I have one chicken switch, can I use the same controller for this other one? The answer is no. They are made based upon the actuator and what the actuators are need for power. So just answer that question first. To set this up you want to make sure that you've got a clear area whether you're going to put it to the left, right, up or down. Get your alignment made so that you can do that and then you just twist the magnet on. The connector comes with either a 30 or a 50 foot cable depending upon how long you buy for the cable for the application. This demonstration uses a short five foot cable, so you know the, the common thing is whenever anybody starts doing this, they like to stand there and watch, but we're not going to do that. So we turn our power on. We've got a green light here. We're going to hit our enable. And that's the simple setup and operation of the PB16. The thing to realize, uh, we make over 800 different products for people, and so all of these things are made based off of something that a customer has requested. The first things that we made were things for breaker control switches, the MarTech uh, line that we have here with the chicken switch is the, the next version. Now, these come in CSO1, CSO2, CSO3, CSO4, CSO5. And what changes is both the shape or the size of the switch face right here. So if you were to compare this electro switch or a G switch like this, an SB1 or something like that, compare it to like a Westinghouse W2, which is narrower, you can't use the same restrictions around the face. So you have to have actuators based upon the geometry of this switch face to work properly. There are some switches in terms of you may have, uh, I've seen this in some facilities where you have like a Kirk key in the face of the switch and so we have to make a, an adapter or a special mount for that. You have other ones where you have a pull and turn feature. We've seen those both made by General Electric and Fuji. So these are things as far as if you've got a switch, you need to be able to tell us about it. Do you have to pull it out, hold it in place, and then be able to operate it? And then let it go back in? So here we go with the CSO one now. And we're on the min, we're on. So now we're gonna hit our enable, and we're gonna go close and that's a simple setup for the CSO one now the PB 16 is not made to push something heavy like a GE Magnablast 
A GE Magnet Blast has that big, big push button that requires a much stronger actuator. And for something like that, we have our RSA2 HD. I can remember calling a guy up in uh, North Dakota one day, and, he, and I'm talking to him about needing a, an actuator for his, his Magna Blast, and this is what this was actually developed for. And he says, how far can I get away? I said, well, I can do it 25 feet or 50 feet away or up to 100 meters away if I go with wireless control. He's like, really? He says, yeah. So, Okay, yep. All right, so um, the, whenever we came up with things, some of the stuff to understand is there was no nomenclature 13 years ago to say remote switch actuators, remote switch operators, remote switching kits. We had to come up with the names for these things, and so they all start with an R, and they all have different functionality. So if you don't know what you're asking for, even if you look at our product finder, what I'd say is you can email us at info at cbsarcsafe.com and send us pictures because that picture's worth a thousand words and we can help you figure out what it is you got. Or you can call us at 1-877-472-3389. Now, for this one, if we hit the close button right here, it's, you're going to see it come back. And so this is a functionality of this remote switch actuator with this remote switch uh, operator and it's called AR or automatic return. So there are different circuit breakers that when we set up AR functionality on a remote switch actuator it's based upon the circuit breaker and what we need it to do. So I need to be able to just close this. I don't want that to stay out there extended like this. I want to, as soon as I hear the breaker trip to be able to release it and have it come back. And just like with the PB16, I can adjust the depth here with these two Allen screws to make this go in farther if I need to or have it come out a little bit farther and stand off from the face. And again, this is made for the heavier duty type switches, okay? You don't want to use the RSA 2HD on a light duty push button right? because you've got a couple things. You've got the diameter here of the end versus the small end like here on the PB16. So you can see the difference in the diameter here. So that's, that's important for being able to have ease of setup and lineup because if I tried to use a, a uh, 2HD on this switch here, the Delrin on the end of it could be too large and you just hit the rim of the switch instead of it actually actuating the push button itself. And so that's, that's something you need to be cognizant of is we make these actuators based upon what you're going to be using them on. Now, let's say that you've got a water treatment plant. You could have aluminum closures, or you could have possibly a plastic face, or you could have a stainless steel face, and we've seen things like that, which require special mounting brackets. The next thing we're going to look at is a special version of our CSO1s. Now, there are one of the things I want to talk about just in the, in the CS or chicken switch series, there's other things that are out there uh, for some of the older generation Magna Blast circuit breakers where you've got a control switch for your elevation control inside of there. We have a version for that also. So um, just because you're seeing just a few actuators today, understand there's a lot of stuff that we can help you with. You just have to let us know what your problem is and then we can tell you what it is we can help you do to address that issue and give you a good solution set for it. So this last little thing we're going to look at today has a bracket on it. I'm going to take it off here real quick and just show everybody how this mounts. So we developed this for water treatment plants and other facilities that have either a plastic face here or they have uh, aluminum or stainless steel. And so you take the switch mount off on the back side and you place this bracket on there and then this can just easily drop in onto the face. And this one's one of our actual wireless ones 
So we're going to tell it to wake up now. And it's awake. And we're going to hit our enable. And then we're going to hit our close. And that's how that works. So while today's demonstration is simple. Let's go, here. Let's go over the, uh, the, full, uh, the full installation of it okay. one more time. Okay. All right. Um, and just to, I'll just go back over this again. So, um, again, there's on the side here, Brian, are you showing this camera over here? On the, okay. You've got the little bracket, which it allows it to drop right in. And it just sets right down in there to go right onto the switch. It, and then we do our enable. We've got to make sure it's awake. It's closed right now, so we're going to go trip like that. And that's how it's set up to operate. And then you put it back to sleep before you take it off. So uh, we can do variations on this switch. So uh, I've got a facility that's halfway around the world in a Middle Eastern country. They have a smaller switch handle than this, but we've designed a switch bracket handle for them to be able to use our CSO4s with a different adapter on it inside just for their specific applications. And they have like, I think it's 11 switches in their lineup, so they get 11 brackets and one remote switching kit to handle that. Questions? Again, you can send us your pictures at info at cbsarcsafe.com or you can call us at one I'd like to thank everybody for uh, tuning in today for our presentation. Again, you can call us at one 877 473 or send us an email at info at You all have a safe week, and thank you once again.